Welcome to the Embracing You podcast with your host, Eric Pothen. We are all on our own unique journey to discovering ourselves. Each episode, I will help you navigate the journey within to reconnect with and discover the innate love you have for yourself. This podcast will cover topics from self-love to eating disorders and body image to mental health and to overall well-being. My goal is to help you honor and embrace yourself so you may live your most authentic life. Let's dive in. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the Embracing You podcast. Um, I'm incredibly excited to be here today with you all and to share the very first episode of Many to Come. So, My name is Eric Pothen, for those of you that do not know me, and I am a middle school choir teacher. Now you're probably thinking, why is a middle school choir teacher hosting a podcast about self-love, eating disorders and body image, um, mental health and overall well-being? And that's that's a great question. You know that I'm finding that I'm asking myself as I dive into um, the start of this podcast with you all and when I think about that I really think about the last two and a half years of my life or so and these last two and a half years of my life have just been such beautiful and challenging years that have also been full of growth and a lot of change for myself and I don't want to go into too much depth right now about my life journey because I want to save that for some future episodes with you all um but I've been reflecting a lot and for me I've come to learn that a lot of this growth that I've experienced over the last two and a half years of my life has really allowed me to take my own journey within and and as I've kind of navigated and been on this journey um, it's really helped me learn and discover so much of myself so a huge catalyst to starting this podcast um, actually has its roots in me kind of stepping into this space of eating disorder advocacy and just raising awareness around the prevalence of eating disorders. Uh, I feel like we have really opened the door to conversations around mental health, which is a hidden illness. Uh, and and I really do believe that this is kind of the next area that we need to open the door and have a conversation around. So um, I started my own business called Embraceware back in October of 2021. Um, And I had been interviewed for a couple of podcasts um, as I kind of started to establish myself in the space of eating disorder advocacy. And after I'd been interviewed for a lot of these podcasts, I just found myself extremely full of joy and I felt such a beautiful flow of energy both during and after these podcast interviews. And I feel like after experiencing that, I've come to learn that I am kind of on this quest for continuing to find things that spark joy like I had experienced as I had been interviewed for those podcasts. And so after spending some time thinking about it, I thought, why not start my own podcast and really just try to continue to find doing things that spark this joy and align with who I am and my why in life, which, you know, I really do believe is is continuing to help and serve others. As I said in the intro to this podcast, uh, we will be covering a lot of different topics during our time together from self-love to eating disorders and body image uh, to mental health and to overall well-being. As I spend some time thinking about that list, um, I really want this podcast to help you as an individual navigate the journey within and and really to help you learn more about yourself. More specifically, I really want to help you take the journey within to discover what love you have for yourself and to help you honor and embrace those parts of yourself. 
Now, I am going to say something here, and I really need you to believe every single word that I'm about to tell you, even if it may be hard to believe and internalize and accept and honor. Um, in that even though I may not know you personally and everyone that is listening right now, I do know one thing about you. And, and it's that you are an incredibly beautiful human being. And, and I know that you are so incredibly worthy of loving yourself. And, and I do know that there are so many beautiful things within you to love and embrace. Just think about that word, embrace. Embrace has been a word that I've really been trying to embody and, and to just let that word kind of be a guide for me as I continue to navigate my own journey. Um, we're all a works in progress and, and that's okay. I, I really do also believe that it is incredibly important to be able to love ourselves each and every day, no matter how we're feeling about the particular day, what's going on, no matter where we are at on our own journey within. I think that's so incredibly important that, you know, we're going to have these really hard days as a human being. We are going to have those days where we want to self-deprecate and tear ourselves down. But that gets us nowhere. That won't help us move forward, inspired to become a better version of ourselves. But it's in this space where we can practice vulnerability with ourselves that we can also find grace and most importantly, self-love. And it is this self-love that becomes our fuel as we navigate this journey called life. And it is self-love that sets us free from our own inner battles and our own inner critics. I know that I'm not perfect at loving myself each and every day, and I've learned that that's okay. And I've learned that we as human beings aren't meant to get everything right all the time because without failure, there'd be no growth. There'd be no learning opportunities. Rather... It is how we choose to respond to that failure that will define who we are as human beings. And I think one really, really important thing for us to remember as we continue navigating this journey of life is that we get to define who we are, not our failures, not others. Let me say that again. We get to define who we are, not our failures or others. So often we take the words of what we hear from other people and internalize them to be true. People say things about us and we believe them. We let those words define us. And that's not how it works. We, the people living in our own bodies, have the power each and every day to carry ourselves and act in alignment with who we are as human beings and to really let that define who we are as human beings, not what other people are saying about us and how we are acting and how we are showing up in this world and for others. I don't want to spend too much more time here today because, like I said, I really want to make sure that these don't get too long for you all and that they are concise, but... As I finish up my time with you all today, I just really want you all to know that my goal for this podcast is to really help you love and embrace yourself a little more each time you listen. I want this podcast to remind you always that you are enough, that you are worthy of your own love, and that you are perfect as you are right now. I look forward to taking this journey with all of you and to 
really watch and and hear about how you grow and evolve into an even more beautiful individual than you are right now. And I just am so excited to help you find and embrace that self-love that will ultimately transform who you are and your life. So that's all that I really have for you all today. Um, Like I said, I just am so honored and grateful to finally be stepping into a space that is a little new for me, Um, but also I'm just excited to create and share this space with you all. So until next time, I hope that you are all gentle with yourselves, you are kind to yourselves, you embrace who you are and where you are at today, here, right now. And most importantly, I hope you're just as excited as I am. You can be scared, you can be nervous, but most importantly, I want you to be excited about this journey we are about to embark on together here over this time spent together. Much love. Thank you.